Hey everyone, welcome back to the Godox Knowledge App tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to show you how to connect multiple lights using ArchNet. ArchNet is a wired connection method that provides fast response and stable connections, making it ideal for professional film sets. In large studio or warehouses, there are often so many devices, including lights and other equipment, all emitting their own wireless signals. You can't see them, but they are everywhere. When using Bluetooth in such environments, the connection can be unstable and prone to disconnection. While Bluetooth might be more common in small studios, it's not a reliable option for larger spaces with more equipment. CRMX connections are much better in these cases. However, for added reliability, many people choose to use wired connection, like ArtNet. This is crucial because if connection drops during a shoot, reconnecting and adjusting the lights can be costly. Every minute counts and can lead to significant expenses. I will say the Godox Knowledge app is well suited for large productions. Its lighting layout interface is perfect for multi-light setups, giving you a clear view of all your light positions. Moreover, the Godox Knowledge app supports ArtNet a stable and professional connection method. We want it to handle truly professional tasks. In a previous episode, I showed how to connect two lights using CRMX. Now in this episode, I will connect and control three lights on set using the ArtNet. Here's a diagram showing the connection principle. With ArtNet, there are three connection segments. One, the tablet connects to a router. 2. The router connects to an ArtNet compatible light, which becomes the starting point of the DMX daisy chain. 3. Connect this light to other lights in series. These are the tools we will use in this tutorial. Let's get started. First, I will power up the router since it's the hub for the signal transmission. Next, connect the router to an ArtNet compatible light. We'll use this M600R. On the M600R's control box, here is an ArtNet port. Plug it in and connect the other end to the LAN port of the router. Use the LAN port because we are not connecting to the internet, just the local network. Okay, so now this M600R will be the starting point of the DMX daisy chain. After all this are set up, We'll use DMX cables to connect this M600R to other lights. Next, we just need to establish a connection between the router and the tablet. For this, we need an Ethernet cable and this adapter, an Ethernet to Lightning adapter. If your tablet uses a Type-C port, no problem. There are plenty of Ethernet to Type-C adapter available. I have one right here like this. So let's connect the iPad to the router using this adapter. Plug the Ethernet cable to the LAN port of the router. On some of the small routers, you might see ports labeled LAN01, which can also be used. Just plug it in. The router will automatically configure it as a LAN port. Now we need to configure the ArtNet addresses, a crucial step. On the control box of the first M600R, which is the starting point of the daisy chain, go to the network settings and choose the default DHCP mode. It will automatically assign the IP addresses. Then go to the ArtNet and SACN interface. We choose ArtNet and configure three key parameters net, subnet, and port. Each parameter has a range, and you need to remember the numbers you set, because we'll use the same parameters on the iPad later. This is very important. Typically, we set the net to 2 or 10. And for the subnet, this time we set it to 1. The port also to 1. After setting up ArtNet, configure the DMX settings. Whether using ArtNet or CRMX, they are just a way of connection, but actually it's the DMX signals to control the lights. Set the DMX start address to any number, 
as this is the first light, so let's set it to 1. The mode is RGB W8 bit. Now we're back to the Godox Knowledge app. In the app, we find the connection settings. Also, you can click this icon. It's the same. We turn on the Artnet connection and click in it. In this interface, we need to configure three parameters just as we set on the M600R. The net, subnet, and port. And add the M600R. Choose the RGB W8 bit mode. And the start channel is 1, it's OK. Confirm to add. Here we check. OK, so now we can control the M600 R via Ethernet. We still have two more lights. Now we use DMX cables to connect the first M600 R to the remaining M600 R and F600 by. So regardless of how many lights you'll add, you won't need to configure ArtNet parameters again because they communicate with each other using DMX cables. Just set the DMX parameters, it's OK. The first M600R uses RGB W8 bit mode, occupying addresses 1 to 5. So for the second M600R, we choose the DMX address from 6, occupying 6 to 10 and choose the mode to RGB W8 bit as well. And the F600 by, we select the starting address from 11. And the mode is CCT 8 bit. Okay, now add these two lights in the app. Of course, matching the mode and starting address. Okay, let's see if these lights can be controlled by the app. Okay, it works. It is to ensure absolute stability. We connected the tablet to the router using a physical cable. But if you find is this limits your mobility and you prefer to move around with the tablet, you can also connect the tablet to the router via Wi-Fi. For example, we can unplug the Ethernet cable and then find the router's wireless network in the tablet's network settings. Okay, then we back to the app interface and just wait for a second. Okay, it's connected. So you don't need to change any settings. You can still control the light. So this is how to connect lights using ArtNet with Godox Knowledge app. If you have more questions, leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.